All right, this is the last slide for this particular section. And when we talk about it, we're talking about marginal cost and marginal revenue. And this all relates to business. You want to, you know, you want to run your business in a way that's efficient, that you're earning money for yourself, and you want to be able to turn a profit. Uh, unlike our federal government, if you don't make money, you can't keep going. Um, and so one of the things that we want to do is make sure that we kind of understand some business basics of this. So we're going to talk about marginal cost and marginal revenue. And marginal cost uh, just simply means looking at the derivative of the cost function. And gee whiz, this thing right here should look really familiar to you by now. Uh, we've seen it a ton of times. It's your starting cost uh, and your stopping cost. So, you know, where you stop minus where you start divided by how long it took you to do that. Marginal revenue is the exact same. This this equation right here, the exact same equation. The only thing different is the function that you use. If you'll notice in the top we're using a cost function with marginal cost. In the bottom we're using a revenue function which is marginal revenue. Okay. And so, uh, what we want to do is we want to find uh, the marginal cost. I forgot to add that into your notes. So we're going to find marginal cost and marginal revenue uh, as as a sh radiator shop owner. And we crank out about 10 radiators a day. So what we've discovered through running our shop is that the cost to produce 8 to 10 radiators is x cubed minus 6x plus 15. Okay. And the revenue from that is going to be x cubed minus 3x squared plus 12x. And so once we sell the radiators, that's how we know that we've made some money. So we are currently producing 10 uh, radiators a day. Find the marginal revenue and find the marginal cost. We'll do marginal cost first. And so marginal cost just simply means to find the derivative of the cost function. So c prime of x is going to be 3x squared minus 6. Now, what are we working with? We're working with 10 radiators. It tells us that. And so what do we want to do? We just want to know what C prime of 10 is going to be. So that's going to be 3 times 10 squared minus 6, which is 3 times 100 minus 6, which is 300 minus 6, which is uh, 294, if I've done my math correctly. Uh, so, right, let's see, 3x squared minus 6, 294. That's my marginal cost, and this is going to be in dollars. Okay, my revenue then, I was double checking in my book, I have a typo, we'll go with what I've got written down. Um, in the book, I think, uh, in the book there is an x right here, and the 6x was squared. So, actually, let's just do that. It'll be, it won't be, uh, it's actually not going to change things too much. So, let's just, we'll just back up here. New plan, new plan. So, that would be minus 12x. Uh, plus 15. So when I stick a 10 into all those places, I'm going to get, you know, 10 squared is 100, so I'm going to get 300 minus 120 plus 15. 300 minus 120 uh, plus 15 is 195, and we're in dollars here because we're talking about a cost. $195. That's going to be your marginal cost. Okay, marginal revenue then uh, is on the other side of that marginal revenue, and so we're just looking at the derivative of the revenue function, which is going to be three x squared minus six x plus twelve. And then I also want to do that guy when we're looking at uh, ten radiators a day. So three times ten squared minus six times ten plus 12, which is going to be 300 minus 60 plus 12, and on that one I get $252.
for marginal revenue. Okay, so there you go, a little marginal cost, marginal revenue. Um, and, and basically, the marginal cost of production is loosely defined, and this is from your book here, to be the extra cost of producing one more unit. Okay, so then your revenue would be tied to that. You know, if we made that one more unit, what would the extra revenue be? So this is an interesting thing to know because sometimes you can make too many things uh, and not get the revenue that you anticipated because of your cost. So this is an interesting relationship, okay? Uh, so that's it for this section. Um, again, with this particular slide, if you have a question, you need to write it down so that you can ask or tweet so that we can talk about it.